So this is really the core of a calming breath here in the coherent breath. Uh, we can put our hands on our heart and one on our belly to be able to feel our breath. To begin with, I'd like you to just notice where you inhale. So take a regular breath and just notice where the inhale lands. Is it kind of at your throat? Is it in your chest? Is it upper belly? Or are you automatically breathing into that belly, letting it expand? And is it expanding on the inhale or is it contracting? Some people have distended breathing, which means that you're actually breathing in reverse. So that we would have to retrain you to make sure that you are expanding as you inhale and contracting as you exhale. I like to a lot of times picture myself breathing in what I want to bring to me and releasing out what I need to release. So, you know, if you're fired up and you're anxious, then I want to bring in peace and calm. And I'm releasing that anxiety and that angst, right? So you can kind of have a visual along with that as well. You can count to uh, four or five. Everybody's breath is different. I've been doing this a long time, so mine's probably a seven. Uh, so if my cueing doesn't work for you, go ahead and breathe longer if you need to. And just make sure you are really filling yourself up and then really contracting, but not forcing. Let it happen naturally, okay? So again, when you can put your hand on your heart and on your belly, it kind of helps us bring us into our body. Uh, many times you need to do this on the fly. You can do it in your car, at your desk, or whatever, and you don't have to put the hands down. It will just become a go-to for you to calm your central nervous system. So uh, it can help to close your eyes. You're probably gonna watch me at first, but then you can close your eyes, and I'm gonna go ahead and close mine. And again, just kind of centering yourself and inhaling in, letting the body expand as you exhale, letting it contract. Inhaling in, maybe two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhaling in, two, three, four, five. Exhaling out, two, three, four, five. Five, inhaling in, exhaling out, and inhaling in, exhaling out, allowing your body to relax here, inhaling in, exhaling out, and inhaling in. Exhaling out, dropping your shoulders, relaxing your facial muscles, inhaling in, exhaling out, inhaling in, exhaling out, last one, inhaling in, exhaling out. You're just coming back to your natural breath. You can release your hands. Again, dropping your shoulders, noticing your natural breath here. And just making any notes of how this makes you feel. If you did feel the calmness, if there was anything that you want to ask about or do differently, please just make a note. And we'll do one more set here with a retention at the end. Um, with retention, we're kind of holding the breath, but not like a four-year-old holding your breath. You're gonna hold your breath and you're kind of pushing that prana, that life force energy out to all of the cells of your body. So I will cue that, but as you're calming, we'll kind of hold the breath at the end. And then again, you are pushing it out to all the cells of your body. So let's try that again. Hand on heart, hand on belly, closing those eyes, inhaling in two, three, four, five, exhaling, two, three, four, five, inhaling, filling the belly, side body, back body, exhaling just as long and slow, maybe picturing it riding up the spine, inhaling in, exhaling out, Inhaling in, exhaling out, 
inhaling in, exhaling out. A few more breaths on your own here. Checking with the shoulders, the eyelids, the facial muscles, relaxing here. Breathing in on the inhale. And releasing on the exhale. One more time before we retain, inhaling in. Exhaling out, dropping the hands to inhale in, retaining on the inhale, and pushing all this prana out to all the cells of your body. And then when you need to exhale, exhale very slowly. And then sitting back, noticing the effects of that breath there's any difference with the retention as opposed to not retaining at the end. Mm 